Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forend, here playing as Arabia with the Mameluke government form. Just putting that out there. Um, sorry about the crash last episode, it just shut down. Anyhow, uh, apparently I did not lose Iron Man status, and I don't think I really lost too much. I might have lost about a month or two. So, uh, we'll try this. Uh, actually, I lost more than a month or two, apparently. Okay, well, um can't get that back, so let's just continue from where we are. Um, no, I'm not going to accept peace deal like that. I want to get the Ottomans out of the war first. Really wish my navy was capable of attacking them. At least they're getting sidetracked going to go deal with uh, Tunis. Actually, wait, Tunis is on the move. No, 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 Tunis is retreating, apparently. No, Tunis is still engaging. Oh, this might be a shot here. Let's see if I can do this right. We'll send you to there. You're marching to there, so we'll march you to there. Hopefully I can see about getting my ships across this... Troops across the strait. Good. Troops made it across the strait. That's good news. And, okay. Just have to quick take those forts and then I'll be back. Because, of course, I'll control both sides of the crossing and then they will return. How are the Ottomans doing manpower-wise? They still have a lot of manpower, actually, which is slightly worrisome. But again, they're still so far behind in military tech, I don't really have to worry about fighting them. They still don't want peace. This is crazy. Wow. Talk about being committed towards this war. Maybe it'll change given some time, but still. Okay. And attack. Okay. Sta if I can keep stack wiping, stack <laughs> stack wiping them, this will go a lot easier. Yeah. They don't want to give up yet. I guess fair enough, but still rather annoying. Let's see. If we deploy... Oh, Tunis is in trouble. I don't know if I'll be able to save them, though. Oh, actually I was. So... That certainly beats up the Ottomans a bit more. Ah, they're starting to really want peace now. Alas, it's still not enough. I really want to beat up the Ottomans more. If I can stack wipe them completely, that would be perfect. Is that it? I think I just stacked wiped the Ottomans. Nice. Okay. I'm going to keep this siege going a little bit longer because I really do want to weaken the Ottomans. They're still considered to be a lucky nation, so... The more I can injure them, the better in the long run. I should, however, reduce some of my unrest. There we go. I'm th thinking my next idea should, my next idea group should probably be the religious idea group. Just because I'm converting lots of land. Plus any tolerance of the true faith is good. Let's see, what else could I take? I could take humanist, but that's not worth it. Um, offensive, I don't believe, yeah, I can't pick it. Diplomatic, I could do trade, but I'm not really hurting for money. Influence, not particularly needed. Diplomatic would be nice, but I'm still so far behind in um, Diplotech. There's no real point in going down that anymore. Going down an idea tree. 
At least we're keeping Karaman stable, <laughs> funding its war exhaustion payments. Oops. Looks like the Ottomans managed to drive off. Or at least injure the Tunisian Navy. Well, good thing I brought Tunis in the war, even if it was just to uh, fight the naval battles. Because they are performing very well. I think I need to take probably that last fort. I don't think I really want to scurry over here to try and siege Corfu, but maybe Tunis will do it for me. Looks like it. Okay. And once I'm done with this, if I want, I can go try and beat up uh, Ethiopia. <laughs> Trebizond doesn't even matter to this war. <laughs> uh, it's always funny when they're in the war, they don't even matter. Friendship with the Timurids, it's a good day. 100, sitting at 100 prestige. In fact, that's only going to get higher because we have a uh, yearly prestige plus one. Wow. We're like the uh, popple states of the East, or Middle East. Let's see. 93% war score. They don't want to do anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, clearly we're going to have to fix that approach to things. Four province lost, three cores to Karaman, and then one province, another province to Karaman. Don't think I can force them to do much else except give me some money. I think that's a good war against the Ottomans overall. It's not as much as I'd like to take, but I think it's as much as I can get away with for the moment really hurts them. Let's see, how much did they lose? Uh, 23, 35, 51 development. That's a pretty nice payday, especially since it strengthens Karaman. And Karaman is not even vaguely disloyal. So, However, I am going to need to rebuild this navy. It got soundly defeated. Okay, let's just keep converting away. It's about the best we can do at the time being. Oh, we're slowly purging Coptic from that region. Let's make that a core area. We do need a little bit more admin power, though. Two months. Go. Problem solved. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot that we're still at war and I actually do need to uh, end the war with the uh, Trebizond. Something I should probably have remembered. Coalition may form. Oh, well. I will risk it. Especially because it now gives me land access to the Ottomans. And I can seriously start to Fabricate some claims on that way. I think my first priority may in fact be to either cut the Ottomans off from the rest of their Anatolian provinces or take a lot of their coastlines so they can't muster a defensive navy anymore. Either would be fairly useful. Oops, General died. Ooh, he's not a level 3 general. Wow. I would have assumed with the stats he would have been, but let's do some training here for a bit. We do have to rebuild uh, a thousand troops or so, but we're almost to 90% army professionalism, which will be really nice. Oops. Helps if I unpause the game. My bad. 
Ah, uh, coalitions. Joy. Okay, hopefully... Russia doesn't join it. Russia has joined it. This is a problem. Okay. <sighs> this is a problem. Okay, clearly I'm going to have to stay defensive for some time. Can't say I'm immensely worried about... Um, Ethiopia fielding a massive army, but at the same time, if Russia joins, that's a lot of troops. We do have Timurids in Tunis in the event of a war, but I don't know how much the Timurids can muster. Tunis can muster like 12,000, I think. Well, actually, probably more like 20,000. Where is Tunis? Uh, 23,000. Timurids, 24,000. So they could take on Ethiopia. I could probably beat Russia, I would say. But it would be one heck of a fight. Let's see, they're ahead of me in military attack, which is promising. They do not have defensive ideas, though, so I have superior morale. But overall, Russia's doing fairly well. Of course, it helps that Ryzen is their ally, so Ryzen's slowing their expansion southward. Ideally, I'd like to ally myself to, like, France. That would be funny, but alas, cannot do so. In fact, my next war against the Ottomans is going to have to uh, get rid of Dul Qadir in some ways, because... They're allies with the Ottomans. Can't say I'm particularly looking forward to having to eliminate another one of my allies, but... Theodoro has gained a fair amount more land, actually. Oh, the coalition is only getting larger. When is the peace treaty with them done? 14 years, okay. So I probably don't have to worry about the Ottomans joining. Yeah. They won't be able to join pretty much regardless. I'm a little bit worried about how large that coalition has gotten with the addition of Russia. Luckily Russia is still has yet to really break out and go on their Siberian frontier colonization rampage, but... I would not put it past them for much longer. Just get some more manufacturers going up. I think the next one is global trade, yeah. And then it's manufacturers. And we have a fairly good chance of getting it. I think. We'll see. It looks like it doesn't count a farm estate as a manufacturer, though, which is a little odd. But I guess it makes sense. I really wish I could retain more trade in Alexandria, but hopefully as I catch up in diplomatic tech that'll be a thing. At some point I'll probably want to relocate my trade node to Constantinople, but... Because then I can kind of unite the different trade routes and pull them all to one. Assuming I beat the Ottomans, which is... A little bit of an assumption, but I don't feel worried about that. I should easily be able to beat them. Don't need a fort there. Don't even really need a fort there, but I'll hold on to it for the time being and demand admin support. Anything that gets me closer to oh, um, some more of the religious ideas, the better. Steady conversion. Still got a long ways to go, but 
Once I'm done, I was, interesting. I was confused why Carmen had a Shia province in their land, but it must have been an event or something. We have we're gonna have lots of claims against the Ottomans. This eleven stack of Orthodox zealots is still controlling uh, Cyprus, but apparently does not want to move, and the Ottomans don't want to go defeat them, which is kind of weird if you think about it. You know what? Just because Russia is a potential threat, I'm gonna stick a fort there. Oh, my ruler's infertile! Ha 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 ha! It doesn't matter with my government form. And then we will do that. And more conversion. I'll send... Might as well send this guy. New World Diamonds. Interesting. Gems are cheaper. Interesting. That must be a disappointment to anyone whose capitals has gems. <laughs> the Ottomans. I'm totally enjoying all the problems the Ottomans are having. However, their next ruler is starting to become pretty good. Let's get another missionary going, because why not? Still have quite a few provinces to convert. But luckily... Our military is strong, our economy is stronger. Honestly, I could probably hire higher level advisors. I don't know if that's worth it though. Probably is actually, since I'm trying to do an idea tree. Uh, we'll do National Manpower Modifier. It's definitely going to decrease our income for a short time, but I think overall we're doing pretty good. We have a hundred troops. We're fully maintained. We're drilling away nicely. Huh. I can't actually afford that. I mean, I can do it if I do that. Many are unhappy. That's going to be a while till they recover. So tech is going to be more expensive, which is annoying. On the other hand, I think I can probably get rid of that corruption. I can, but it will increase tech cost. Uh, I might as well just let it tick down on its own for a while. Trying to make sure all my galleys and stuff are strong. In fact, that might be one of the reasons we had issues with the Ottoman fleet, is they had worse diplomatic technology than I do? Whoa, the Ottomans are backwards. They're, they're only Admin Tech 5, but Hungary is 13. What is going on with the Ottomans? Are they just, like, developing their lands? I mean, they are, but... Huh, they're not using admin power. Where is their admin power going? They haven't even, they've only gotten two humanists and they're only level five admin power. How in the world is that even... How in the world are they not corrupted, like, to an extreme? Uh, we'll leave them to do what they please for now. However, that's going to cost us money in the short run, but I'm sure we'll recover it at some point. I can't afford to... Uh, I can't do that. I'm thinking I definitely need to probably take the next military idea. Because at some point Russia is going to hit military 15, 
and that would be a problem. So anyway, that will be it for this episode, and uh, I'll continue next time. I'll leave some suspense. Do I take a quality idea, or do I take a military tech? Anyway, see you guys all next time. Bye for now.